guys! I know it's been a long minute since I put up a video, but I am back and I am guilty. I have not filmed a monthly favorites video in a long, long, long time. But I promise you guys, this is the first month of the year and it's sadly coming to an end. It was my birthday month. It is my birthday month. My birthday was a week ago. Yay! <laughs> so, um,. Anyway, I'm hoping to get in more monthly favorite videos in for you guys. I have a lot of videos in mind. Hopefully you guys are enjoying my videos. And if you are, subscribe to my channel. I mean, come on, what are you waiting for, right? <laughs> okay, so we're going to jump right into my January favorites. It's only the best month of the year, guys, okay? It's only the best month. <laughs> so to get started on my first... um. Favorite, um, I have been using this product for a long, for a while already, and I introduced it in my very first video here on YouTube, and it is the L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector, and I really like this, um, uh, day and night cream. I love, I use this every night before I go to bed, and I just love the way that it moisturizes my face. I wake up in the morning, and my face is like, super soft it feels really hydrated really moistured and i really like that because i don't really want to apply it um in the morning i know it's a day and night cream but i choose to put it overnight so it could just hydrate my face and i'm just like i'm not doing anything i'm just sleeping the night away so um that's why i like putting it and also because i feel that like if i put it under my makeup my skin has become really oily i know our skin changes as we grow older and mine apparently unfortunately it has gotten quite a bit oily over the past months so that's the reason why I try to avoid moisturizing it just so it doesn't I don't know it just doesn't um down the along the day it just doesn't start melting off my makeup so but I've definitely been loving it using it in the night and I'm almost done with it I've had it for like I just love the way it smells um, I had it since like I want to say the summer already and I have like this much left of it so soon I will be having to do another purchase so definitely been loving this another favorite of mine is the the Neutrogena repair wrinkle rapid wrinkle repair so this is what it looks like and it's just a little tube like this and yes I'm already using wrinkle cream this is my first one first of many more that I'm still need to purchase but I just recently got this last week or the week before that. I think I'll have about a week or two with it. Um, I got this because, not that I have any wrinkles, now is the time when we need to be taking care of our face, our skin, you know, especially us girls. I know we like don't want to see a wrinkle anywhere, anywhere. So I figured since I'm already, you know, towards my late 20s and I have not wrapped my mind around the fact that I'm more towards my late 20s as opposed to where I was in my mid 20s. So if I ever mention it again and I freak out, you know why now. It's just hard to even say I'm, I have to um, anyway start taking care of my skin a lot more. And like I told you guys before, I started using a lot more face products now that I wear makeup a lot more often and um you know i put all kinds of stuff in my face so i need to start taking care of it but not just my face but also just my skin like my whole body all overall so then the next one um it's a foundation that i've mentioned i've used in my other videos before and it's the cover girl outlast three and one and i got this one in the shade 832 and i really like this foundation i can now say hands down it is my favorite foundation ever um, I did start liking the Fit Me... F okay, I'm going to do another video on foundation, so I'm going to just save it for another time because then I'm going to give away part of my video. Let's just stay as a favorite. I'll mention this one again, but I'm just really quickly... I just really like uh, the coverage it gives. I like it that it's not cakey. It's not... It doesn't make my face feel oily. I don't need to be constantly blonding my face. And I really like that it has foundation... SPF, concealer, it's just everything all in one. So definitely if you haven't tried the CoverGirl Outlast 
three in one foundation, I highly recommend you go to the store and you buy it. Especially if you have problems with oily skin like moi right here. Um, definitely give it a then try. Another one that I've had but I've been using lately and I have it in my eyes today is the Naked 3 palette. Now, um, I've been sticking, uh, you know, it was it's still winter, but um, to me it's already heading into spring already. Too. But now that the Naked 3 palette are the rosy colors, I have been using this a lot more. And um, I really like the color. I like that it's different from the other Naked 1 and 2 because those are really similar. It's just like one or two colors that are like, you know, you can really notice that they're completely different. But this palette came out with the rosy pastel pinks and I love pink yes I love pink and um, so I've really been enjoying it I'm also going to be filming a Valentine's Day look with this palette so be on the lookout for that um, it has to be the Too Faced Sweetheart blush now this one I mean sometimes I may buy things because it is really cute. Tell me this is not cute. It is adorable. But I have to say that what really caught my eye was the packaging is so adorable. It is vintage looking. It is girly looking. It's just adorable. And it's a heart. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. But when I try the blush, the actual blush... I loved it. I really, really, really loved it. Really high in pigment, you know, with just a dab on your cheeks, you already have, like, you're good to go for the whole day. Like, you can tell you have, excuse me, you have that rosy look on for the whole day. So, definitely been loving my Sweetheart's Blush. And it's called the Peach Beach. Just in case you guys didn't know the name. Um, I've also been liking the um, e.l.f. blushes. I just purchased this when I got the Neutrogena uh, Repair Cream. I got this one in Tickled Pink. It's really dirty because my clumsy self, when I was opening it, um, I ended up doing a little dent on the blush, which you'll be able to see right now. But this is the color that it is, and the dent is like somewhere in the top. I'm a really clumsy girl, okay? <laughs> But, um, so I've really been liking, I'm actually wearing this color on today, and I really like that it doesn't, um, it doesn't, um, it's really, it's also high pigmented, lasts all day, as you can tell, and I, for being e.l.f., I mean, it's really worth it, it's what, $3? So definitely worth your money compared to, like, buying a blush at Sephora, so definitely be liking it, and then I got the Candid Coral. Which is this uh, other color. This one's brand new. I haven't tried it yet. I think I might try it tomorrow. I always say I'm going to try it tomorrow. But I do end up trying the products the next day. So this is Candid Coral. So definitely for $3, it's worth it. So definitely check that out. And then I got the um, Contouring Blush and Bronzer from ALF as well. And I really love the color for the blush. And then the bronze is not too too dark on your cheeks that it'll really like you'll be able to see the stroke it's just it's perfect so again three dollars and you get your money's worth so definitely been loving the elf products um let's see i got some of the revlon uh lacquers and matte balms i only got i think this is a this is a balm stain but i'll combine it with the lacquer I got three of the matte colors. I got them in Elusive, Shameless, and Showy. So I got these three. And I really love the way that they go on your lips. They're really high pigmented as well. And um, they're really, I really love that they're showy. You know, when it comes to, I really love bright colors in my lips. Um, and I really like when I get something, when I purchase something like this. I really don't like when it's really light, like a gloss. Like you, it's sheer. You can't really see much of it. So I like it when they're really high pigmented and you get you get a lot. Like It's really noticeable with just a little, a little dab on your lips. And I have to say my favorite from the three is definitely this one. 
so far on the showy just because simply it's like that it's such a as you can tell I've already been using it it's just a girly pink you know I'm such a sucker for anything that's so such you know girly girl and I really love the girly pink I really like this one for an everyday just neutral look you know you add some kind of color to your lips but it's nothing like whoa you know it's fluorescent and it's out there in your face so I've really been liking these and purple I really do love um I really just, I mean, I like purple, but I usually like to wear the purple um, lip color when I'm feeling a little bit more edgy, you know, a little bit more like punk. I'm kidding, but just, you know what I mean. Oh yeah, and I forgot the lacquer stuff. Now the lacquers, if I had to pick between the matte and the lacquers, at first I thought I was going to like the matte a lot better, but I like the lacquers a lot more. Um, I really love the red. This is an enticing this one I really used up a lot and I really really love the way the red is it looks really dark on here let me show you guys but once you put it on it's not that dark and I really just love the way it looks the way it just and it's such it's long lasting lasts you all day nice shimmer to it I just I am in love with the lacquers and then I got the orange one which this one I haven't used but I'm figure you know it will look almost the same as the lacquer just because it shows it has the same pigmentation so orange is really going to be in for spring and I'm getting ready for spring already I have two more to go I've recently made a um, stop at Ulta and I got a few products at Ulta um, I did not do a beauty haul on Ulta because I didn't get too many products. I did just a little damage. I didn't go all crazy in there. So I figured, I mean, I'm going to be mentioning the products eventually in my videos. And some of the lacquers there. And then this, the Stay Matte Rimmel Powder. This is in the shade 4 Sandstorm. So um, as you can tell, I'm already, I've been using it. I really, really like it. Um, I got this one. I, I am very faithful and loyal to my MAC. Studio Fix. I mean, I'm not going to trade that powder for the world because that's my number one. But this one can really live up to its name. It really is a really matte powder, which is what I love. Like I mentioned, my skin's getting pretty oily. And this really keeps it matte and dry. And I really like it. So, um, definitely been loving this. And the last product that I got um, a few weeks ago during the Vlogmas, I mentioned I was trying the Kerat Keratin Moroccan Oil with coconut oil for my hair before I go ahead and I straighten my hair and recently when I went to Target because you guys know I love Target and I'm always at Target it's my second home um, I got the L'Oreal Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray and I've also been really liking this um, not only that but I like it because when I put it on my hair I spray it on my roots and then I spray it on the tips of my hair and I brush it all out before I go ahead and I straighten it. It's just like I can get a, a chunk of my hair and just sniff it during the day and it'll smell like this. So that's one thing that I really like and it also does a trick. It doesn't make my hair all poofy or frizzy or any of that stuff. I don't leave it on for the three days because eventually I go ahead and I wash my hair. I have tried leaving it for a day just overnight like I'll do it uh, say today. I don't wash my hair today and then tomorrow I'll go ahead and it really does keep my hair pretty straight it doesn't get crazy when I wake up it's still looking pretty sleek so definitely been loving it if you haven't tried it or you're looking for something definitely try consider giving this a try really like it and that is pretty much it for my January favorites I hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did enjoy it give my video a big thumbs up and definitely if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel and thank you guys so much for watching my video and supporting and I'll be doing a new video really soon so be on the lookout for that thank you guys excuse me thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon bye